Hi, uh, this is Phil Chenever with a little video on how and maybe why to apply a high-pass filter to some of your recordings. Uh, if you're like me and you have a, a, a deeper type of voice and my environment encourages deep stuff, um, sometimes there's too much in it. Now, I'm going to choose a section here of silence. Yes. And I would like to point out that this has already been noise reduced by over 40 decibels. Okay. I'm going to analyze this particular section here. Plot spectrum. And this is a graph, a frequency analysis of that particular section. Now, this is supposed to be silence. Okay. Or at least room ambient noise. Now, you'll notice that starting below 100 hertz here. I guess I should explain this. The frequencies start here, let's say, I guess at 11 hertz or zero, and go up to 10,000 hertz. So that's the frequency. And along the side here is the how much noise is there. Um, the higher it goes, the more noise there is in your recording. Uh, this particular section has a frequency at 32 hertz. See, I'm putting my cursor there. I'm clicking it. And it shows me down here at the bottom what the, what the thing is. Um, and it's it's too much. It's, it's got a rumble. Now, human ears apparently can't hear that low. But it overlays the entire track. Every, all of this, the whole track, has that noise laid on top of it. Now, some noise is not bad, of course. I mean, we don't mind it. Let's look at the beginning here. I'll anal analyze this. Um, weird. I must have done something to it. Oh, I did this one already. Pardon me. I'll cut this out maybe. Let's go right here. Yeah, there it is again. And this is the hum or whatever is in the background, and these are some of the harmonics. Close. So, now, I wouldn't worry about I know, this Henry unless Memorial I found that my recording sounded uh, low. Kind of muddy, but... I know Henry Memorial Award Prize story. Uh, so, how to apply... And so the reason would be to remove some of the lower frequencies or reduce some of the lower frequencies so that it, well, it sounds better to your ears. Now, what a high-pass filter does, and you'll find it way down here, if you don't see it on your recording, I mean, on your Audacity, uh, I will show you in a minute how to get, how to put it on there. A high-pass filter basically allows everything to pass except frequencies below the level that you choose which it will reduce by a certain amount so let's click on that and see have I chosen an area no I haven't chosen an area let's choose this area here effect high-pass filter um, the high-pass filter will ask you roll off what that means is how many decibels do you want to reduce uh, how can I put that? The, the the frequencies below a certain level. In this case, this is set at point zero point seven. I usually leave it right there. Now the cutoff frequency. You may see a thousand hertz in there. You may see fifteen hundred. I will put it at a hundred in this case because I like to reduce everything by about twelve. Uh, I think that's that would be very sufficient. So let's click OK and that reduced it. Now let's look at analyze it and you'll see that there's an 83 so it reduced that 12 decibels everything below this hundred has been dropped down by by uh, 12 decibels which should be plenty okay I'm going to um, I'm going to undo the high pass filter and I'm going to apply it to a larger section here effect High pass filter. It's at 12 decibels. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I said I was going to do it and I didn't do it. So in this case, you may, you may want to uh, uh, just take a sample and try it out to see how it sounds. Um, once again, this is my own personal Stranger things. feeling. Now you'll see Mildred that it reduces Clam. some stuff here. I know Henry Memorial Award Prize story of 1921. Clam. And this is a LibriVox recording. Story of this is a LibriVox recording. So that is how you apply a high-pass filter. 
Uh, I apply them frequently to my own recordings. I'll tell you that. Now, suppose you don't see those on your, when you do a drop down, there's nothing down here. Uh, this is how you do it. You go to Edit, Preferences, and you'll go, they'll give you this, all of these devices, playback. Go to Effects, and just click them all. Put them all on, and it enables them. I think the ones you really want is VST, no, is um, Ny Nyquist. But eh, click them all, don't hurt. And that's it. That will allow you to see them. If you don't have it clicked, you won't see them. Uh, another effect that I talk, I already have a... Um, uh, video on is the uh, notch filter which simply filters out everything but it, it aims at its particular frequency and a little bit on either side of it here's a subsonic filter this is cool which reduced really low winds of below 20 I'm not gonna apply any of these okay that in a Recording nutshell by is how Jyoti you would apply Recording by Jyoti Taramanat. A notch, um, a, a high pass filter to a recording. Um, the, this is so amazingly level. I've, it's very neat. Okay, so this is how you would apply a high pass filter to a recording should you have some low. And of course, the question is hey, Phil, how did you get to that analyze baloney stuff? I show you that in a video somewhere. Now, this has not been reduced. You see, it's way up here. 71 decibels um, you may decide some recordings need it some don't but whatever okay folks this is Phil Chenevere and hoping you keep recording and if you have any more questions let me know thank you